Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Yi Kok Ming, consultant cardiologist, working here at Pantai Hospital Kuala Lumpur. What I'm going to do today is to share with you what my day is like. So you, you'll be following me, uh, a day in the life of a cardiologist here at Pantai Hospital. Come. So good morning everyone. Uh, today we have a long day ahead. Today, a typical day for me will begin with me going around to the wards to do my ward rounds. So, and then after that, I've got a long clinic. This morning, the clinic should go up to lunchtime. And in the afternoon, I've got three cases scheduled. I'm also on call today, so it can be a bit busy because I may have to rush between the cases and going down to the wards and uh, going to the emergency department as well. Conventional procedures that we do here is uh, it's not a one-man show, it's basically a team effort and we have a cath lab team that works with me uh, which comprises of the uh, uh, scrub nurses, the cardiac technician, the radiographer and really we work together as a team, we've been working together here for, I've been here already for about 15-16 years The patient basically presented with chest pains, which uh, there was some concern because of her age, whether she has had uh, a chronic blockage problem. But because she can't do a stress test, we decided to do a diagnostic endogram for her, and it's all good news. No blockages for her. So the chest pains are non cardiac in nature. So the good news is she can now get back to her normal activity. So get her back upstairs, you can eat and drink. I'll just need to inform the family, and we'll uh, get the next patient on. up to the ward um, so you can follow me up lah, to the ward yeah? thank you for watching um, remember everyone that coronary heart disease remains the number one killer in Malaysia I know all of us are worried about the COVID pandemic and yes, it is worrying times and many of us are afraid of coming to the hospital because of the COVID pandemic. I agree that we should maintain our SOP, we should avoid crowds, social distancing is important um, and wear your mask and stay away from, you know, uh, from, the, from crowded areas if possible. Having said that, I think it's important not to neglect your heart health. I know of patients who have had suffered heart attacks because they refused to come to the hospital or refused seeking medical aid because they are so worried about coming to the hospital. I think it's important to bear that in mind that despite the COVID pandemic, if you are not feeling well, you should still see your doctor. You should still get yourself checked out. Hope everyone stays safe at home. See you all soon. Take care.